Hey, Brian. How are you? It's been a while since we last talked. What do you want, Gracelyn? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I'm just calling to check up on you. And to ask you a small favor. A favor? What kind of favor? Well, you know how Kate is doing so well in school. She's such a smart and talented girl, just like her father. Yeah, yeah, get to the point. The point is, she has this amazing opportunity to go study in Australia for two weeks. It's a once-in-a-lifetime chance for her to broaden her horizons and learn about a different culture. And let me guess, you want me to pay for it. Well, yes, but it's not that much. Just a few thousand dollars. Well... It's around 4000 for two weeks, so she was all worried that she might not be able to afford it. Well, that won't be the case, right? Make sure you transfer the money to the usual account. Just hold on now. You don't even ask me at this point. I don't even have $4,000 to send you. It's not happening. What do you mean you don't have the money? It's not happening? Is this some kind of joke? We already agreed that you would be responsible for paying for our daughter's education and that you would send child support every month. You think you can back out of it now? Why do you think I'm sending you $1,500 every month? That should be enough for her education. You can't just ask me to send $4,000 out of nowhere. Aren't you her father? What's the big deal? It's a small price to pay for something so important. Your daughter has been dreaming of going abroad to study. Are you really okay with destroying that dream? Don't you, as her father, want to help her have this experience? Well, of course I do. I really wish I could help. But $4,000 on the spot? That's too much. You've got to be kidding me. I really want to pay. I really do. But that's way too much money that I don't have to spare in the first place. I just paid for all her private school fees the other day. It was already hard enough to pay for that, you know? I'm pinching pennies right now. You think I care about your pathetic situation right now? You're her father, for crying out loud. If you have time to complain, you better do whatever you can to send over the money. Don't pull the father card, all right? Oh, you want to be that way? Fine. You know what? I'm done with you. If you don't want to pay, I'll just tell Kate how pathetic of a father you are. I'll tell her that you're the one who didn't want her to go after her dreams. Why would you do that? I'm sure she'll never want to speak to you ever again. I mean, what child would forgive their father for letting money get in the way of their dreams and happiness? Don't blame me when you can't get in touch with her anymore. Honestly, it's not like we even see each other right now. It's been nearly two years since we got divorced, and I haven't seen you guys since. What do you expect? We're not obligated to meet you anymore. It's our daughter who gets to decide when to see you anyways. She's going through puberty, and it's been quite the whirlwind with her, I tell you. She's not really at an age where she would be excited to see her dad. Well, that's not too hard to understand. But how can you demand that I pay so much money for a study abroad program when I can't even see her? That's asking a little bit too much from me. I would feel really used. Oh, come on. Grow up. Are you seriously suggesting that I make our daughter go see you just for money? How selfish can you get? I'm sorry, but I don't want to put Kate in that position. In this day and age, it's a given that you respect Kate as an individual first and foremost, even if she's still underage. What the heck are you talking about? Don't use her study abroad program to make her go see you against her will, Brian. How dare you? Poor Kate. I can't believe this is what we have to deal with. If that's the way you're going to be acting, we don't need your help. Forget it. No need to send money for her study abroad program. But don't think I'll ever let you see Kate again. You'll never get to see her for the rest of your life. I'll make sure of it. For the rest of my life? Yep, for the rest of your life. 
If you can't handle that, you better send over the money. No strings attached. I'll give you some time to reflect on your actions as a father. I hope you really think about what it means to be someone's dad. All right. I'll send the money, okay? You'll be satisfied if I send $4,000 for the program, right? No more than $4,000. How silly, Brian. See, it wasn't that hard, right? You could have just sent over the money in the beginning, and we wouldn't have had to go through all this trouble. You have until the end of today. Don't keep me waiting. Dad, I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Kate? Is that you? I can't believe it. How are you? Don't act like you care about me. You don't even know what's going on with me. What do you mean? Of course I care about you. You're my daughter. Then why did you stop paying for my school fees? Why did you let me get kicked out of my school? What? Kicked out? What are you talking about? You are the worst, Dad. You ruined my life. It's all your fault. Huh? What's going on? How are you going to fix this? You know that I'm still only 16, even though I'm still young. You destroyed my future. There's no hope for me. Just wait a minute. How were you able to get in touch with me? You don't even have me in your contacts? Well, after the divorce, you never even contacted me once. Your mom even made sure I never contacted you either. She said you were going through puberty, so you wouldn't really like the fact that I was trying to talk to you. What the heck? What kind of ridiculous story is that? I never said anything of the sort. You didn't. Besides, you were the one who blocked my number first. Even if I wanted to send you a text message or something, I wasn't able to. What in the world? I never blocked you. That's why I even got a new phone so I could try contacting you. I can't believe you made your own daughter go that far just to get in touch with you. You're seriously despicable. I can't believe someone like you is my dad. No, Kate. There must be some kind of misunderstanding here. Why would I ever block you? I would never do something so hurtful to you. You know, I don't even care anymore. You freaking ugly, bald, piece of trash father. How could you say that to me? I said it was a misunderstanding. Can't we just figure things out first? There's no time for that. You need to hurry up and do something about me attending high school. It's all your fault. I was the top of my class, and now because of you, I got kicked out of my school. You what? How did that happen? You better fix this right this instant, or I'll never forgive you for the rest of my life. I had so many friends, and all my teachers loved me, you know? They were all going to write me recommendations for my college applications. You don't even know how hard I've been working. All of my time and effort is going to waste because of you and your selfishness. Wait, wait, wait. I really don't understand what's going on. Before you go on, you need to explain the whole situation to me. Why were you kicked out? And why is that my fault? What is it that you think I did to make this happen? What? Now you're trying to act like you're innocent? That you don't know anything? You didn't transfer my school fees like you were supposed to. Of course this would happen. What were you thinking? Because you didn't pay in time, I had to leave school. Uh, what? Don't even consider yourself my dad when you can't even help pay for my education. I'm so ashamed that I have you as my dad. You better not go around acting like my dad anymore. You don't have that right any longer. You're not even capable of sending your own child to school. What the heck is wrong with you? What in the world? It's all on you. Don't think you'll get away with this. All because of my pathetic dad, I'll be a high school dropout. My life is gone. My future is gone. I don't know what I'm going to do now. This is it. I'll never get to have a good life now. 
You do know that I'm sending $1,500 every month so that you can pay for school and stuff like that, right? You are? So just calm down for a sec, okay? There's something off about this whole thing. Why do you keep saying I didn't send the fees? That doesn't make any sense. Wait, does that mean that you actually are sending money for me and my education? No mistake. I'm paying exactly $1,500 every single month. And I know that going to a private school is quite expensive, so I've been sending your mom extra to cover the whole tuition. In fact, I sent the whole year's tuition in February. The whole entire amount is to be paid in one go. One year's tuition? I even sent over money for your study abroad program the other day. You can still get a refund for that, right? Even if you got kicked out? Huh? What study abroad program? What are you talking about? I never signed up for anything like that. What the? I'm so confused. Okay, what is going on? Your mom just explained things a week ago. How you wanted to go to Australia, how it was your dream and everything. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't like to go someday, but I never thought of it as a dream. I'm not even interested in studying abroad. I'd rather just go there on vacation or something. You don't want to study abroad? I do have a few friends who are going to study abroad soon, but that's it. Like, one of my friends, she's super rich because her dad is a doctor. Her dad wanted her to go so she could put it on her college applications. You know how it is. Hey, Kate, I know this is really sudden, but would you be willing to meet with me sometime soon? You want to meet? I really need to figure out this situation. Something must have gone wrong at some point, and I need to confirm all the details with you. I really want to clear up our misunderstanding as soon as possible. Let's figure this out together. Sure thing. I think it's better for us to just meet up. I'm just worried about what Mom is going to say about it. I already promised her I wouldn't go see you unless I have her permission first. What? You need her permission? No. Even legally, you do not have to get her permission to see your own father. That makes no sense at all. You have the right to decide when you get to see me, Kate. That's what we agreed upon during the divorce. Really? That's different from what Mom told me. She told you something different? She said that since the cause of the divorce was you cheating on her, she has the right to decide whether or not I can see you or not. That's why I said I need her permission before I go see you. There's no other way. I don't know what your mom is thinking, but I never cheated on her. Ever. Your mom is the one who wanted the divorce. She wouldn't back down until I agreed. You didn't cheat on her? You know what? I think we really need to meet, Kate. We've got to discuss this in person and set things straight. Yeah, definitely. I want to hear your side of things now. I'll make sure to send the agreement form that your mother and I signed during the time of the divorce. The reason for the divorce and the terms of you meeting me were all written there. If you read that and still want to meet me, please contact me again. And of course, you don't need to tell your mom about this. Well, of course. I want to meet you. I don't need to think it over. And I don't care about some small details of an agreement form. Let's just hurry up and meet, okay? Maybe we can sort out the issue with my high school while we're at it? Okay, Kate. Let's meet then. Just let me get my work schedule sorted out. I might even be able to meet you today, at the latest tomorrow. I'll do what I can to make time for you. Oh, well, you've got to hear this. Things are a mess right now. I really need your help. What happened? You know that study abroad program. I didn't know, but we were required to pay for insurance while Kate's there. It looks like it's going to cost about $1,000. You need to send the money quickly. You'll do it, right? It's insurance. When are you going to stop hassling me for money? I really have no choice here. It's not like I like having to ask you every time. It's all for Kate and her future. 
Okay then, the usual account. You know how it goes. Hate to break it to you, but I'm not going to be sending any money this time. Are we really going to go through this again? You do know how it's going to end, right? You're her mother. The least you could do is pay for the insurance yourself. Not only do I pay $1,500 monthly, I cover Kate's tuition, and I even sent over money for her study abroad program. I've sent you more than enough money up until now. Now it's your turn. As her mother, you can help her out sometimes too. I'm sure it won't be that hard. I'm sorry, but who's raising her? I don't even get paid for all the hard work I'm doing every day. That's why, as her father, you need to pay for everything. Why do I even have to spell it out for you like this? You work hard raising her? I sure do. Do you know how hard it is to raise a child all on my own? Of course you wouldn't. You've never had to. But I'm still doing my best, trying to keep it positive. I think I'm doing a great job. You haven't even been anything close to a father to Kate these past few years. The least you could do is send money for her. Are you saying that you don't even want to do that much for her? Wow, you'd stoop this low, huh? I was the one who said I'd take care of her, but you wouldn't let me, no matter how much I argued. How could I let someone like you who's constantly at work or on some business trip take care of my precious daughter? You don't have what it takes to raise a child. That's exactly why I made sure you didn't get custody over her. That's also why I made sure you agreed to send monthly payments for her child support. You're not her father if you don't pay up. Don't consider yourself her dad if you can't even do this much. If you want to complain, then you have enough time and energy to send over their insurance money. Send it over! Hey, Mom! What study abroad program am I going on again? I don't remember signing up for one. What do you mean, Mom? Mom, why are you doing this? I never said I was going to study abroad. I don't have any plans of leaving the country anytime soon. And you know I've been kicked out of school, right? Kicked out of school? Is this Kate? Yeah, it's Kate. I'm with dad right now. You're with your dad? Why would you go see your dad without telling me? I told you that you need to ask me first. You went behind my back. But I'm not legally required to ask you for permission, right? What? You tricked me, mom. Because of you and your lies, I couldn't see dad this whole entire time. I finally got to see him for the first time since the divorce a few days ago. We talked for a long time, and I got to listen to his side of the story. His side of the story? There's a lot I want to ask you, but there are more important things to deal with right now. First of all, you need to tell me what you've been doing with the monthly payments dad was sending you. The monthly payments? Mom, please tell me what's going on. Where is my tuition? Dad sent the money as he agreed to. He sent $1,500 a month as well, and yet I can't go to high school. What's the meaning of all this? Ah, just hold on. This is just a misunderstanding. There's just been a small mistake, that's all. I can't really explain things well at the moment, but it's not what you think. Just give me some time. Sure, you need time? Of course, you don't have a clear reason for all this. You used all the money for yourself and for some guy. What? Why would you say that? I really don't want our daughter to know the rest of the details, but I'm sure she's smart enough to guess what's been going on. Well, did you switch? Is that you, Brian? What do you mean? Some guy? I don't know what you guys are talking about. You can play dumb now, but there's no use in trying to hide the truth. I had you investigated. We have evidence, so don't even try. You had me freaking investigated? What the heck? You demanded a divorce two years ago, right? Just out of the blue, you were upset that we had to move around so much because of my job? You begged me to let you and our daughter settle down somewhere without having to jump around with me from town to town. Ah, uh, yes, that's true. I know. I was going all over the country and even overseas constantly because of my job. 
I felt really bad for you, and so I didn't want to force you to stay with me. That's why I agreed to the divorce. But I guess I was wrong. It wasn't me. It was because of some affair. Affair? I have no idea what you're referring to. You didn't tell our daughter about the fact that I was sending you guys money every month. On top of that, you even had the audacity to make up some stupid story about me being the one who cheated on you. So she didn't want to see me. But it's all over now. I've explained everything to Kate and how much I've been supporting you both this whole time. What? Kate told me that she would like to live with me from now on. I'm capable of paying for her tuition. I'm also already sorting things out with her school to make sure she can go back as soon as possible. She wants to live with you? She really said that? So Kate isn't going to be with me anymore? No, I don't want that. That can't happen. Yep. I'm going to be getting custody of her. I've already hired a lawyer, and I'll be telling her all about the things that have been going on. You better prepare for the worst, Gracelyn. I won't go easy on you. No, please don't. Just don't take Kate away from me. I can't live without her. Let me have her. She's my daughter, all right? She's my daughter, too. We'll see what happens after I talk to my lawyer. We'll let her decide what the best decision is here. No way! Just let me live with my daughter. Well, nothing else to talk about here. Talk to you soon. Wait, you don't need to talk to your lawyer. It's absolutely unnecessary. A daughter needs her mother. What else is there to consider? Think about Kate and what's best for her. What's best for her? You really want to talk about that now? You need to let me have Kate. If you don't, I promise I'll sue you for kidnapping. What the heck? Kidnapping? I'll report you to the police and tell them my ex-husband kidnapped my daughter. I'll have you arrested, do you hear me? I have custody over our daughter, so I have the upper hand here. Things aren't looking good for you right now, huh? I kidnapped our daughter? What the heck is wrong with you? You really think that'll work? Oh, well, you really want to see what happens? You do realize how much trouble you'll be in when I report you, right? You really want to play with fire here? Time to say bye-bye to that job of yours. <laughs> now you're trying to threaten me. I'm only telling you the truth. Your life will be destroyed if you get arrested, no? Is that what you want, huh? You better give me back my daughter right this instant unless you want to face the consequences. And of course, you'll still be sending over the monthly payments as well. Try and call the police then. I'm at your house, so I doubt you'll be able to make a case for kidnapping. My house? And I haven't taken Kate outside anywhere. We've been inside the whole time. Good luck trying to get me arrested. Wait, wait. You're in our house? Why? How dare you barge into someone's house like that? I never invited you in. Sure, fine. I can't report you for kidnapping. But I swear I'll report you for breaking and entering. Try me. I can report you for child neglect. What are you talking about? I heard you hadn't come home for a week. Kate called me, and after talking, I came to check on her. Kate called you? I was really shocked when I saw Kate for the first time in two years. She's lost so much weight. I was so worried, so I asked her if she'd been eating. She says she's been only eating fast food or frozen dinners while living with you. She told me she kept losing her appetite and skipping meals. What in the world are you thinking? You never make her dinner. How could you put Kate in a situation like that? Kate's not the only one having a hard time. I have to work all the time just to make sure I can keep a roof over our heads. Do you think it's easy being a single mother? Stop giving me such a hard time just because I can't do everything perfectly. But you think you can lie to me. I know you're with some guy right now. What? 
How would you know that? I see you sync your phone to your computer at home. I can see everything you know. You're at a resort. There's a bunch of photos from this week of you and some guy on vacation. You shouldn't be on my computer. After asking Kate, you've been gone for a whole week. I already know what you're going to try to say, but let me tell you right now. Don't try to convince me that giving her money for food is enough. Our daughter is still in high school, and leaving her alone to fend for herself is completely irresponsible. Shut up! You think you're better than me or something? You're nothing to me now that we're divorced. Don't try to lecture me about how I should raise my daughter. You better leave our house right now. I'm going to sue you for breaking into our home and for violating my privacy. I can't believe you touch someone's computer like that without their permission. Is that the kind of person you are? Kate's the one who invited me over to the house. I don't think that counts for breaking in. And I wasn't the one who touched your computer either. Again, it was Kate. I was just next to her the whole time while she checked your photos. I didn't touch anything. Oh, please. You think I'm stupid? I know you're just using your daughter to cover up your crimes. I'll make sure you pay for all of this. Give me a break already, would you? When will you stop being so defensive? If you don't knock it off, your parents are really going to lose it. What do you mean, my parents? You want to sue me for breaking into your house and violating your privacy? Okay, why don't you sue both me and your parents while you're at it? Your parents are here with me right now. What the? My parents? They're there with you? So, Graceland, looks like I'm not the only one you've been taking money from. You've been borrowing money from your parents, too. You lied to them about me not sending any more money for Kate. What's that about, huh? You're just going around lying to everyone to get your hands on money. Ah, uh, well, you see, that's... I wanted to explain the situation to your parents and tell them about changing custody. But then they told me about the lies you've been telling them. I seriously can't believe you'd go that far. Talking on the phone wasn't getting us anywhere, so I asked them to meet at your house to get things straight. You've got to be kidding me. Your parents couldn't believe their eyes when they saw how dirty the house was. And I also showed them evidence of my monthly payments to you. Your mother literally almost fainted. What? Your dad can't even say anything at the moment because of the shock from seeing your vacation photos. I took a look at the whole entire folder but it looks like you've been dating this guy before we even divorced. Which means you were cheating on me. I don't know what to say. I didn't think you'd find out. I can't leave my precious daughter living like this. I won't leave her under your care any longer. Your parents will be looking after her for the time being. My parents? I have no choice but to let your parents take care of her for now. What will you threaten to report me for? Kidnapping and all? I'll be patient and wait until I get custody of her. For now, I'll make sure not to see her. So if you want to report someone for kidnapping, you can throw your parents under the bus if you'd like. Why the heck would I do something like that? Well then, just make sure you fill out the proper forms for the custody change. During that time, I'll see what I can do about getting compensation money from you now that I know about the affair. When we're both ready, we'll get together with a lawyer to talk things out. Compensation money for the affair? Just hold on here, Brian. Why make such a big deal out of it now? It's already been two years since our divorce. Is that even possible? I don't think you can even demand that money from me. The divorce was so long ago. Oh, you think I can't? Watch me. No, this can't be. Send my regards to the boyfriend for me, will ya? Hope you guys are excited for the big debt you'll owe me. All the happiness to you too. As a result of acting quickly with my lawyer, the process of changing custody went smoothly. I felt triumphant when I got my ex-wife to pay me $10,000 in compensation. 
Graceland's parents helped sort out the issue of Graceland squandering the monthly payments that were meant for Kate. They demanded that she return the entire amount to me, every penny she had wasted over the span of two years. They also threatened to adopt Kate and give her all the inheritance they had planned for Graceland if she did not comply. They even made an agreement form for Graceland to sign. Thanks to Graceland's parents, Graceland is paying me back little by little without a single complaint. After talking to my company, I secured a position in a different department with fewer business trips. Therefore, I can settle down with my daughter, who can also resume her high school education after a long hiatus. I and Kate are enjoying every moment of our new life together.